Well, it is always fun to talk tribe with Zach Meisel from the athletic covers the Indians and Zach, uh, let's start right there today. We got a chance to see Owen Miller make his big league debut. I know these stories always have to be fun to cover. You had a chance to talk with him today. Um, just what was this all like? I know his family was here. Just, just seeing him out there today, make his big league debut. Well, it was a big moment for the Miller family because Owen's younger brother, Noah was supposed to, well, he did graduate from high school, but he and his parents ended up coming to Cleveland instead of attending the graduation because it was a big day for Owen. And it's, it's a big day that I think a lot of Indians fans have been waiting for, for weeks. And it's something that I, I think became uh, something that we thought would happen when we saw this kid in spring training, because only one player on the team had more hits in Arizona than he did. And he carried that over to the alternate site to, to the start of the triple a season where he had 20 hits in his first 40 at bats. So when you do that, it's like, what more can you accomplish in the minor leagues? It's time to get the kid up here and, and see what he can do. So he's not going to be some savior for the offense, but his profile fits what they need. A guy who makes a lot of contact, hits a lot of line drives, so he can hit for a high average, and it doesn't matter where he ends up playing. They need hitters. Well, Zach, the reason Miller got called up, I know he was tearing the cover off the ball at AAA Columbus, but it was probably accelerated by the fact that friend Mio Reyes gets hurt yesterday. Uh, this doesn't seem too good. Yeah, about five to seven weeks for an oblique strain, which you could tell the instant he made contact in the sixth inning uh, on Saturday, he, he kind of shouted in agony as he fouled a pitch off and then started kind of flexing his arm a little bit and, and stretching his side. And that's one of those injuries that you feel it, everything you do, if you're tying your shoes, if you're getting out of bed in the morning, and certainly if you swing a bat. So uh, this team is going to lose really one of only two guys who have been potent threats all season. Jose Ramirez, the other, um, and that's, that's difficult. His absence is going to be felt in the middle of that order. Zach, what do you make of this team? I mean, they're 44 games in, they're 24 and 20. They're only a game and a half out of first place in the Central Division. The New York Yankees did them a favor this weekend, sweeping the White Sox. Um, but just, you know, it doesn't feel like the numbers add up with this club. Like, you know, they shouldn't be near a first place team, yet here they are, and we're getting into June now. Just where do you stand with this group? It's that game was a microcosm of their season, which is at certain points, this team looks like it has the makings of a contender and they have certain pieces in the lineup who can contribute and they have the pitching, especially in the bullpen. And then in other instances, uh, they look like a team that just can't get out of its own way. And I think that comes with inexperience and with youth. They have the youngest roster in baseball. So this is going to happen. They have a lot of guys who haven't played a full season before, haven't had a lot of pressure every time they step into the batter's box or onto the mound. Um, so they, they need consistency or maybe more specifically, they need to find guys who can be consistent and because you're not going to get it from 26 players, especially when so many of them are 24, 25 years old. Zach, listen, really appreciate the time. We'll give you a follow on Twitter at Zach Meisel. We will check you out at the athletic and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Hey, I know you appreciated that home run by garlic on Minnesota because it's Sunday and in the Camino household, there's lots of garlic in play. You know, I used that line on our six o'clock news earlier tonight. I, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> mm -hmm.